Tom here, figured to give you all an overview of my current Raspberry Pi projects. Nothing too serious as of yet, just playing around with it so far. I've uh, dropped the Papercraft Nintendo in favor of a uh, Pi Tin from SparkFun. It's also an Adafruit with much better named as the Pi Shell instead. It has access to all the ports, even the ones that normally aren't brought brought out. Got the HDMI, all that usual stuff. Additionally, it has cutouts for all of the other connectors. So when the camera module comes out here in a bit, I can just plug it in after threading it through the slot here or here. Which one's which? One's the LCD, one's the camera. It has full access to the GPIO port pins. It's port 2. Um, You can have individual point-to-point -point things or a full ribbon cable and you can easily pull it out. It's got physical connections on the bottom where you can slide in a screw. Only downside to it is this bottom one. It's obviously a, a four-way one but though in the bottom one you can't go down at all because of the SD card connector and it'd be iffy going left or right because it might bridge uh, connection on the SD card slot depending on how you how big the head of the screw is other than that a pretty nice case feels decently solid it does have a little bit of movement but I kinda like that it has light pipes for the various lights on the board then I've been picking up different things and uh, poking around junk drawers and such, finding things to use with it. This is a recent buy. It's Kodak uh, battery meant to charge cell phones, stuff like that. Forget that it's capacity, but 5 volts has no problem powering the Pi. I have no idea what the run length is. I haven't played with it that much. But, so you can see the uh, I've added Velcro to everything. Velcro, of course, isn't normally included with this. This is something else I picked up. It's all clear for the case. <coughs> Excuse me. And I kind of stack it up. This is an old, old git. A Gigaware from Radio Shack. USB hub. Stick it on like that. Nice small thing. Then I use this cable it, because it has a uh, power connector USB. So the power connector goes in that. Standard USB goes into the USB host of the Raspberry Pi. Then it has an old uh, mini cable. Then this cable that came with the battery. I plug into one of the ports on the hub and then plug into the Pi. Been uh, kind of having something like a module. I need to trim down the cables quite a bit to befit things, but I can do things like take this completed module, which is standalone once plugged in, and then just bring out a project and drop it in, connect to the side or what have you. Like this little ye uh, Lego tank here, Lego Technic. I could run IR LEDs from the GPIO pins, have it communicate with this little deal here, and then I could have a Wi Fi or even possibly automate, depending on what I plug into it. Raspberry Pi controlled robot tank using Legos. So, just pull it off and take it to another project. Because right now I only have the one. Not sure I'd get any more at this point. Just because not anything permanent has come up with this. Another thing I've been playing around with is this could probably fit together. Probably integrate a fair bit of this, or almost all of it, into the casing of this. 
or modify it a bit or stick it all together like that for temporary this is a USB keyboard with a PS2 gamepad attached the PS2 can be directly interfaced to the GPIO pins both the projects that are already out there then the USB into that take it mount a monitor to it and it would be a low power DIY NVIDIA Shield basically I had the idea for quite some time I'm just kind of neat that NVIDIA is coming out with an official thing like that we'll see how much it costs I'm betting this is a lot cheaper